Hi friends, Nick here from Technology Lowdown. Today we're talking about Wake on LAN or Magic Packets. Now, if you're running a home lab server, you can save on power by, say, switching off the device that you're not necessarily using. But the only problem when you switch off the device is you then have to go and turn it on. Wake on LAN solves this for you by turning it on on the network without you needing to interact with it. Why I started going down this path was the other week I moved from storing most of my data on a Synology NAS to a true NAS machine. Now admittedly it is just a standard desktop that I had laying around that I set up with two drives in a mirror array. My storage requirements aren't all that much at the moment and it was satisfactory for my requirements. Now the other priority on my list was backups for TrueNAS, as RAID isn't a backup. Now, I back up my data so I have it in three locations. I have it on a NAS firstly, then I have a second copy on a secondary TrueNAS, which is why I need Wake on LAN, and then I have another copy on external drive. Now, you'd be forgiven for thinking that this video is about backups. Well, it's not, but that's just the background. We're looking at Wake on LAN. Because I don't change my data all that often, I couldn't see the need for having a secondary TrueNAS system online all the time. I figured I could probably just run a weekly backup and sync my data to another machine, which is what I plan on doing. Which brings me to why I wanted to use Wake on LAN. So I wanted a backup system, a secondary TrueNAS that would turn on and off as required to run the required backup. Now, I could physically switch the machine on, but this would require me to, uh, going there, turning it on at a certain time to run the backup, and if I miss that backup window, well, I'll probably have to start it off manually. This is probably too hard to keep up with and inconsistent. I didn't want to be responsible for that. My solution was Wake on LAN. Now, with Wake on LAN, it enables you to do this. When your computer is in a shutdown state, its Ethernet report will remain active and registered on the network. Now, it's not going to pass data, but it will remain active at the data link layer. This is enough for your switch or router to know that a MAC address is on a port. Then the way Wake on LAN works is by sending out a broadcast known as a magic packet, where within its payload are six bytes of all 255, which is FF, 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 in hexadecimal followed by 16 repetitions of the target computer's 48-bit MAC address for a total of 102 bytes. And this is Wake on LAN. So how does my use case work here? Well, if you've got an old computer laying around or your NAS system, you'll firstly need to check your system's motherboard configuration. You'll need to find the setting that enables Wake on LAN. If you have a new system like mine, well, it's not that new, but it's got eco settings built into it. You may need to switch off the eco saving features and enable wake on LAN under your power on options to allow the system to power up. This is how I've done it on this MSI motherboard. While you're here, take note of the MAC address. If you can't find your MAC address in the BIOS, don't worry, I'll show you another way you can get it later. To test that your wake on LAN is active, I recommend switching on the machine and then switching it off. If the ethernet port remains flashing, usually an intermittent flash, mine is orange, then wake on LAN is most likely all set. However, I have read that some systems don't have any lights to indicate that wake on LAN is functioning. What do you need next? Well, that MAC address. You can find it this way, usually on the computer's network settings, or within the TrueNAS here. I'll let you get this in your own way. For me, on the system, I just go Network, Interfaces, MAC Address, and there it is. So to get it all going, on my production TrueNAS, I've logged in, and I go to Tasks, Chrome Jobs. I've then created a task, Run as Root, because for the Wake on LAN command, you need to run it as a sudo user. The command is simply wake em0 mac address. Now if you find this command doesn't work in TrueNAS, it could be that you've got the wrong interface name. In which case, go back to network interfaces and you'll find your uh, interface name there. So how does this all work? 
Let's take a look at this in action. Okay, so we're going to run that task and we'll see this light come up here on the computer. This is the secondary one and look, it is starting to boot up and it's online. Now that did take a couple of minutes. I skipped forward for the video. Well, thanks for watching this video from Technology Lowdown. If you've liked this video, please like it. If you'd like to see more, subscribe and don't forget to tap the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. Bye.